The Twenneboa and Yenra and Ntome field, referred to simply as 10, should average around 23,000 barrels a day in 2016. It's eventually expected to reach 80,000 barrels a day, along with gas, which will hopefully ease a national power deficit. The field is operated by British company Tello Oil. I'm sure that Ghana's hydrocarbon prospects are very bright. I believe that the setbacks in the world oil market are temporary and that we'll see a recovery sooner or later. That will give a fair price, you know, both to producers and an affordable price to those who use the products. The finance minister says the oil revenue will provide stronger financial security for the country's debt service and arrangements. The revenue from 10 is significantly less than expected when the country first launched the project in 2013, thanks to the slump in global oil prices. Experts are also concerned about the government's ability to manage its resources efficiently. Um, the World Bank estimated in 2005 that if we were as efficient in our deployment of our resources to build infrastructure, we would have been growing one full percentage uh, of GDP more per year. Uh, so, so, so these are all pointers to the fact that uh, all is not well with uh, our use of resources and some more that always is the case, but learning to, to, to conserve waste and people diverting our resources. Ghana signed a three-year, $918 million aid program with the International Monetary Fund in April 2015, specifically to tackle high public debt, steep inflation and power outages. Maria Galang, CCTV.